This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video I'll be bringing you a short visual demonstration of the basic user operation of an Arcade 1UP that's in the process of being modified into a clone of the rare Quake Arcade. This modified Arcade 1UP will feature Quake Arcade Tournament Edition and will also feature a variety of other games. For those of you that haven't seen my other video regarding this subject, I've been modifying an old Arcade 1UP, Rampage Cabinet, and if you'd like to see the videos regarding that modification please check out the links above and in the description. I'm using a track mode as the front end for loading games. This works very well for the Quake Arcade software. Quake Arcade Tournament Edition originally ran on a PC, and from what I've seen and heard it looks as if it was a Windows 95 or Windows NT based build. This unit will run off of Windows 10 Enterprise. Again, if you'd like to see how I was able to get the software working please take a look in the description. Because this arcade was basically ported from the home PC to an arcade PC not much software has really changed. That said, there are a few major differences, the first is this version of the game does give you in-game prizes. The original units had printers that would print you tickets that you could redeem at the counter. So if you went on a kick-butt rampage you would be given the opportunity to pick up a prize pack, and if it had a redeemable prize you would get a ticket from the printer letting you know what you've won, and how to redeem your prize. As stated I'm using a track mode as the front end, as it is super flexible in its ability to launch and exit games and other software, as well as act as a kiosk giving me the ability to map required computer functions to combinations of shortcut keys and menus. The idea is to be able to boot this unit, select a game, play the game, exit the game, and shut the cabinet down. All without a keyboard or mouse. Basically the day-to-day -day usage, all from the native arcade cabinet controls. A track mode is a great front end, however it does have a steep learning curve. I've been using a track mode for years as it's free, and there are tons of DIY video for the subject. If you'd like to see a video of how I've sent mine up then just let me know if the comments. Again, there are tons of DIY videos, and you don't really need mine, but I'd be happy to show you how I've sent this unit up. You're able to configure a track mode on a keyboard or a controller, however it doesn't seem to do well when you change controllers as the controller will need to be reconfigured each time you change them in many cases. I find attract mode is best for anything with a permanent or semi-permanent controller placement making it ideal for arcades. The controls of this Quake arcade copy are not identical to the original, as I wish to add other games to this unit. Because it has a trackball I should be able to put a nice set of trackball arcade games, and as you can see I'm trying out a few first-person shooters. I do have an issue. Some of the more modern games like Halo and Serious Sam have more functions than I have keys to assign. I did think to add a button for crouching down, one to help in weapon selection, and one to work as a secondary attack. With that I had thought I'd covered most everything I needed, but I've found that I need a use button, something for zooming in and out, and a button for melee attacks. I believe when I update this prototype control deck, I may add those buttons to optimize gameplay and to add to the suite of games I can play from. As I'm working on the software, I'll also do some work on trying to recreate the outside graphics. I'm kind of lucky as the manufacturing partner that ID Software picked Lasertron didn't go all out on the graphics. This is good for me as I totally suck at finish work. The unit came as a full unit, or a conversion kit, and I think I've picked the full unit to model my art off of, but as so little information is around I'm really just guessing. The marquee, control deck, and bezel seem to be the biggest art items that I'll need to try and recreate. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. It really helps the channel grow.